Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I review a lot of Activerse, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a brand that I haven't reviewed on my channel before. I think I've tried one or two of their pieces um, a while ago, but yeah, definitely haven't reviewed them here yet. And it is Hollister's Activer brand, which is called Gilly Hicks. So yeah, I've recently purchased stuff from Hollister and then I was going into their like Activer part of their website as well because I was like why not if I'm already ordering you know um I could try some pieces for you guys and see how this brand is and as per usual with Hollister sometimes you get like some good deals I think that like two leggings for this price and some of the sports bras were on, on a nice sale and stuff but also I had some issues with finding my size and some items that I wanted to try so usually I'm a solid small in tops and sports bras and stuff and in between a small and a medium for leggings but I went from medium um, here with this brand, but I think there were some tops and sports bras I had to change sizes for a little bit. But don't worry about that, I'll tell you about it when we get there. Um, yeah, so I have like a few pieces, a few leggings, a few sports bras, a few tops, and let's just get into it. We'll start with this um, interesting halter neck sports bra. So this is the Go Recharge uh, Cinched Halter Neck Sports Bra. This is the color blue, and yeah, this one, as you can you know, you can tell it doesn't really have any back straps or anything because we just have that halter neck moment. And this has been an upcoming thing, I think. Like a few brands have done this now. A halter neck sports bra. And I'm never too sure about the support you get from this or if it's like uncomfortable for your neck or something. So I kind of wanted to try this one. We do have removable cup pads on this. We do have a brushed fabric. And this one was super cheap. I think in my cart it ended up being like $13 or something. Um, so a steal for sure. We have, did I already say removable cup pads? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we do have the cinched part here, some detailing, some ruching, um, which is kind of like a butt scrunch, so it kind of like stretches out a little bit here. And uh, we do have an elastic underneath your chest, but it's like not super like tight or anything. I think it seems quite nice. We do have that Gilly Hicks Activer logo, which is just an emoji, a winking emoji there. And yeah, it's just like an interesting thing. Um, I'm pretty sure halter neck styles will only be good for people with smaller chests, if any. You know, if for, for anyone, probably just smaller chests, because otherwise you have like all the weight like on your neck, and I'm not sure if that's nice or not. But yeah, let's just see it on. All right, on to this halter neck sports bra. So this is a blue color. I think it's more of a grayish blue, so more of like a steel blue. And this is a halter neck sports bra, so that means we have nothing in the back, nothing obstructing the view of your back muscles and everything, nothing obstructing like working out the back or anything. So um, if you've always wanted something like that, you know. <laughs> um, why was I laughing? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's an interesting idea for sure. Like I'm not sure how much I like it. Um, I've recently tried on another halter neck sports bra and I definitely like this one a lot more than the other one. Because um, support-wise, I have a small chest, I don't need a ton of support. And this is a solid medium support for me. So I don't have an issue with this one. Um, we do have, uh, the, so this is more of a true sports bra length. We have like this elastic band here, removable cup pads. And then you have like this little cinching detailing. So this kind of looks like, you know, a butt scrunch that some other people might have on their leggings. But it's very elastic. And like I said, removable cup pads, thick straps here. I don't get a ton of cleavage, but I think if you have a bigger chest, you probably would get some. Um, good amount of side coverage still as well. And then as I already showed you in the back, we have nothing here except for the band here. And then just the strap from the halter neck sports bra. So yeah, for sure, if this is a look you want, I think this is actually a really nice option. But keep in mind, if you have like heavier boobs, if you have bigger boobs, there might be a lot more weight on your neck here. But I think that's just a logical thing. So yeah, really have to think about like, if this is a thing you wanna wear or for how long you want to wear it for. I personally like to wear my sports bra usually for like a full day. And while I think I don't, like this is still quite comfortable, I think it could get uncomfortable after like a few hours. And also they put like the seam right here. So kind of you have that seam sitting on top of your neck. I think they should have just, you know, put the seam somewhere like lower down the strap. Because like having it right there just adds a little bit of extra pressure, I think, which I don't like as much. But yeah, for sure, I think this is more comfortable than the other um, Halton Exports, but I tried definitely also a lot more support. 
Uh, I do like it. It's definitely not a thing I would be wearing every day and also not a thing I'd be wearing for the whole day. So I think that's important to kind of just note because it's going to add some stress onto your neck. And I know some people just don't like it. Uh, or you can also get a headache from it or something. But yeah, I wouldn't wear it for the whole day. I have smaller boobs, so they're not as heavy. But if you have bigger boobs, this might not be the greatest option for you. Good thing, though, is I have nothing cutting into my traps at all. It's very comfortable for my, for my traps, for my shoulders, you know. I'm not, like, restricted in any way. It's just, like, you have to be able to deal with the pressure on your neck a little bit. And like I said, the bigger the boobs, the heavier the boobs, the harder this will probably be getting um, and the more uncomfortable it will be getting. Like personally for me right now, it's comfortable, but I know I wouldn't be able to wear it for the whole day without like noticing it and like feeling uncomfortable. But I think for a few hours for a nice like back workout or something, for sure, go for it. All right, next up we have the Go Recharge High Rise 7 8 leggings in bright orange. So yeah, this color is definitely out there. These were also on a good sale, I think. I think these were like $20 uh, for me. Um, the fabric feels really, really soft at first touch, but there's some weird things happening with this one. I'll need to see these on to kind of figure out what's happening. Um, we do have pockets on these, so they're not just the 7 8 leggings and high rise, they also have side pockets, so one on each side, there's also one on the other side. Um, we have like a, a waistband without top seams, so nothing there. Um, and then in the front there's no seams, but in the back we have like two seams here. Which is weird because we don't even have, like, there's no pocket or anything in here, so I don't really know why there's two seams there. Anyway, it's what it is. We also do have a front seam on these. And in the back, we just have straight across glued seams here. Same uh, emoji logo that we saw before. And yeah, the color is definitely something. Um, it is like a more yellowish orange, because you can see my sports bra is also more of an orange, but this is more of a reddish orange. So definitely two very different oranges here. Um, but yeah, they feel really soft. Like, they're brushed. And yeah, they definitely feel quite nice to the touch right now. They kind of remind me a little bit of the like Aloe Yoga Aloe Soft fabric. Not as soft, but it's kind of going in that direction. So um, yeah, I got these in a size medium and let's just see them on. All right, onto these Go Recharge uh, pocket leggings. So they're supposedly a 7 8 length. I mean, they're a little bit shorter than 7 8 and with a little bit, I mean, like a good inch or inch and a half. So, you know, there's a borderline for me. I hate capris. <laughs> So they're kind of getting a little bit close to that. Not there yet, but you know, it's getting there. Um, they are, like I will say the fabric felt quite nice when I you know, initially touched it, but once I started putting these on, I wasn't super convinced anymore. So they do feel like a lot more like a cotton legging, like a simple cotton legging as you can buy from Forever 21 for five bucks, um, but not like a workout legging. The fabric isn't stretchy enough, it's quite stiff. Um, it's still like brushed and soft, but like once you put it on, it's not as soft anymore. So yeah, I'm not super convinced of these leggings. <laughs> There's also like a lot more other things. So we do have a front seam. With this one, I don't have an issue. It's fine. They are high-waisted, but they're not quite as high-waisted as some other lengths I know. And there's this weird, I don't know what's happening in this waistband. There's like, it's not an elastic in here, but it's like they put like a piece of fabric and we're like, hey, let's put this in the waistband here for some reason. It's like a little bulky. It doesn't do anything. It's just there. And yeah, it's weird. There's no top seam, so there's like no cutting in here. And it's just this weird fabric bit in there. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's it's just odd. It's not like there's a pocket or something here in the front, but like it's just like weirdly there. I don't know. Also, I like this color, but it is not scrub proof at all. Like when I put these on, I could see the tag through in the bag pretty easily. Um, we'll see it a little bit better in the squat test than you will also see, but yeah. I'm warning you already, it's not scrub proof at all. We have pockets. <laughs> My phone fit into this pocket, I think. Yes, it does. It's nice and big. We have the pockets also on the other side, of course, of the pocket. Um, there is side seams now uh, because we have the pockets. So there's one seam here more towards the front of the leg and then one seam more towards the back of the leg coming from the pocket. So that's also fine. But so yeah, these are not super stretchy. I feel like some tightness around my 
uh, thighs. So my thighs are definitely tucked in, but there's like a lot of space here in the back. It's like dipping low when I, when I go down low. And like, it, there's no compression whatsoever in the waistband for me. So like, they don't fit good. Um, they don't feel nice. I would never consider wearing these for like a workout uh, because they're so cottony. So yeah, definitely not my favorite. Although I do like the color. All right, next up, we're staying with like some neon colors. We have a dark pink coming up. And this is the Go Recharge um, Longline Wrap Sports Bra. So I would consider this more of a like sports bra tank top kind of. Not really a sports bra because we do have a shelf bra in this. So everything with a shelf bra kind of is more of a, like, you know, a tank or a crop or something. But here's the shelf bra. We have removable cup hats in this here. We do have that elastic that feels quite, you know, soft and like it won't cut in. This one I could not find in a size small. So I got this in a size medium because I think extra small is also out because usually I'd have gone for that otherwise. Um, we do have some seams here that in, on the inside I also keep the, uh, the bra pads in the respective areas in the shelf bra. Otherwise we have a very high neck here. It seems like a pretty long, if this is a sports bra, it's the longest sports bra ever, you know, basically. But it's like, for me, it's just a tank, like I said. We have some side coverage here as well. And then in the back, just a simple razor back here with the same logo that we saw on the other pieces as well. And then it's, um, it's a wrap sports bra because you have this long tie situation that you can kind of tie in the front or the back. And I think the back is a little bit shorter. So I, maybe this is where you're supposed to tie it. For sure, the ties are pretty long, but they're also elastic. So I think you can kind of like wrap them around you a few times maybe to make them a little bit shorter. Otherwise, fabric-wise, this fabric seems very similar to the orange fabric. The orange fabric. The or fabric from the orange leggings. But still like a little bit softer and maybe like a little bit less cottony, a little bit more stretchy, if that makes sense. So yeah, I do like it. Um, I'm not usually a pink person, but I'm willing to uh, see this on. Let's do it. All right, full on pink. If you don't like pink, there's probably a lot of pink for you right now. I'm usually not a pink person, but I like bright colors. So, you know. Um, so this top I did get in a medium because they didn't have a small available in either of the colors they had. So um, yeah, this is a medium. It still fits fine. I do have for sure like a little bit of extra space in certain areas. There's also a lot of tags here that I'm trying to hide. But yeah, I have some extra space here. But since we have like this high coverage, high neck um, and like also nice coverage here in the armpits, it's not so bad. It's quite long, so you can see when I pair this with the high-waisted leggings, there's not a lot of skin left. And I do have a longer torso, so if you have a short torso, this might be nearly like a full-length top for you. I don't know, we have uh, a shelf bra with removable cup pads, so removable cup pads here and just the shelf bra. There's definitely no, no tightness around here, around the elastic. It's quite comfortable, nice and soft. And this fabric itself is also really nice and soft. So I like that a lot. And we have these uh, strings that you might have seen already. And in the front, the top is a little bit longer than it is in the back, I think. Like, it definitely seems a little bit shorter here. And we do have the ties, so you can kind of like tie it in the back here. Um, I think they're a little bit long to do that. So you could also just go to the front and then tie it in the back or like tie it in the front if you want. So you have like a lot of different options. Um, and it's just basically like very adjustable because it's just the string that you get there. And then you can make it a little bit cuter, you know, and depending on how you want to tie it, you can just do that. Um, it's not going to be super obvious because the strings are the same color. 
So you can also put them down a little bit here if you want. So there's a lot of adjustability with this thing for sure. Um, I don't think the ties add anything. Like they don't add support. They also don't add discomfort. So, you know, it's just like a little bit of a detail that this top has. Um, we do have a simple racer back here as well. And you can show off your shoulders a little bit and your back. And yeah, for sure, it's definitely very long. It is a very, very soft fabric. I really do like the fabric. It's very comfortable, uh, very brushed. Uh, support wise, more of a light to medium support. So if I'd gotten this in my normal size, um, I probably could have gotten a little bit more support from this. So definitely do stay true to size unless like you really, really want it and have to size up. Um, then you could also do that. But yeah, I would say stay true to size. I do think it's quite comfortable. Um, it's very basic, but then you know you have that little tying detail and the fabric is definitely very nice as well. So yeah, I like this one. All right, I was also looking for like some leggings and it was really hard to find some in size, size medium that were in stock. So I found the dark pink leggings to go with the sports bra top that we just saw. And these are the Go Recharge leggings. So they're called the same as the uh, 7 8 orange leggings, except for like the orange leggings had some more specifications in the name, but they were both the Go Recharge one. Um, I hope they don't fit the same. I hope that these ones are a little bit more stretchy, a little bit less cottony. They definitely do feel really, really soft again. So super, super soft. We have no top seam either on these. Now we have the seam in the waistband on the sides where I kind of would expect it. Front seam again, very wide waistband. And then the back just like kind of straight across glute seams. Maybe it like ever so slightly curved there, but not really. The logo again and otherwise that's it. So these are very, very simple. They definitely do feel very stretchy and a little bit more performancey maybe than the orange ones. But yeah, so soft. Like, if you like, you know, I feel like, because they're also so simple, if you like your like aloe yoga airbrush leggings or something, these are a thousand times better than those, I think. I mean, we'll see when I have them on, but I do think that the fabric is so much better than some of the really expensive stuff you can get. I mean, I won't say that these are super cheap, but if you can get them on the sale or something, then, you know. These could be really nice, so let's see them on. All right, let's talk about these Go Recharge leggings, as you might be able to tell from this fun tag as well. Um, so yeah, they're like a super bright pink color, and I definitely do like these a little bit more than the orange leggings that I've already shown you. Um, the fabric, like first at like first touch, it kind of felt the same, but when I put these on, I definitely could feel the difference immediately. Like these are way more stretchy, they're more active wear than a cotton legging for sure. We have a nice high waist. There's nothing weird like here. There's nothing bulging or anything. Also like no top seam again, but yeah, definitely like no extra fabric part in there for some reason. They're a little bit more high waisted. My belly button is down there, so you can't see that anymore. Again, they dip a little bit lower in the bag when I squat and there's a little bit of extra space here as well but it's not as bad as with the orange leggings. But yeah, a bit more stretch as well in general. So I do think uh, I still wouldn't have wanted to size down to the small because it's actually quite comfortable now, but also it does fit a little bit better in the waist uh, than the orange leggings. And then in the back, the glute seams are quite low and they're just again straight across. So I really wish they had like put them up a little bit higher. The orange ones I think had a little bit of a higher seam here in the back to kind of flat out the glutes a little bit more but all in all it's just like a simple legging there's no other extra seams anywhere we do have a front seam i do feel it a little bit there's maybe a little bit of a camel toe situation it's not super bad um it's also not uncomfortable or anything but like just keep in mind like i wear underwear and a panty liner and i still get a little bit of camel toe which by the way i get with like every single pair of ala yoga leggings for example and these are for, if you like the Aloe Yoga Airbrush, these, these leggings here are like a thousand times better and also way cheaper. And camel toe issue wise, they're the same. So yeah, um, I do like these, they're very soft, very stretchy, definitely more of a yoga weight lifting Pilates legging than a running legging because they don't have like anything to help you, you know, make them stay up or anything. But yeah, they're comfortable, they're cute and simple.
All right, next up we have a different fabric. We have the Go Energize uh, Long Line Steamed Sports Bra. So this fabric is less brushed and more sleek, but it's still very, very soft. But like it definitely has a different texture. But this blue is really, really cute. I like it a lot. And unfortunately, again, this didn't exist or wasn't on the website or not available in my size small. So I did get an extra small on this one this time. Um, we have like this cute little cutout here and it's also more of a longer like cropped tank with a built-in sports bra or like a built-in shelf bra, I should rather say. So let me just get that out. We have the shelf bra here with the removable cop pads and the elastic down here, which again doesn't seem like tight at all. It's the same type of elastic we saw in that pink long line uh, sports bra or tank. And yeah, again, removable cop pads, they don't seem to be too thick. And then the sports bra, tank top, whatever thing um, seems a little bit more simple at first with like, you know, just a normal scoop neck. We have like simple up and down straps. They're not adjustable. And then the back is very simple. We have a like, like slightly lower scoop here. And yeah, the front is kind of where the action is with that uh, cute little cutout. We also have some seam detailing, which I think is probably easier to see when I have it on. But yeah, all in all, this seems a little bit more sleek. Um, a little bit more cool to the touch than the other um, fabrics we've seen so far. But I think it's cute. Like I said, I really like the color. And let's just see it on. Oh, I do like this color combination a lot, actually. It looks really nice. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this blue top. So this one I got an extra small now because, you know, again, no small available. And um, actually, I mean, it is a little tight, but it works and I'm actually quite nicely tucked in. It's not like cutting in anywhere or anything. I would still say probably stay true to your normal size if you can. But like for me being on the smaller end of the small, this works actually as well. Um, support wise, medium support for sure. I'm nicely tucked in. We do have a shelf bar situation again here. And also again, there's a quite long crop top bra tank situation. So, you know. But yeah, the cutout is very cute. That's actually why I wanted to try it because I thought it looked really, really nice. We do have some seams here that come down to kind of cinch in the waist. And I like how they connect even through the cutout. Um, so basically this is really just a cutout flap piece that you can make a little bit shorter as well. If you don't like the cutout look too much, you can make it a little bit longer. And then underneath here, we do have that shelf bra with your removable cut pads and the elastic is actually not tight at all. So that's quite nice. And yeah, this basically really starts right below this piece of fabric. It's not like moving or anything. So you're not gonna expose the um, shelf bra at all. And I have a really good amount of coverage here up top and also on the sides. Keep in mind I have a smaller chest, but I'm really nicely tucked in now. Um, we do have just normal up and down straps. No adjustability there, but I think it works fine. And then also a little bit of a scooped, uh, lower scoop here in the back but not too much. And all in all, I think it's a super cute, uh, like what you call like bra top thing. Um, it looks really, really simple in the back, like your normal bra tank tops do. And then when you, you know, turn around, it kind of like shows that little cute cutout detail. And I think yeah, it's really, really cute. I really do love this blue pink color combo for sure as well. And yeah, I like this one. All right, next up we have a very different piece again. Another sports bra. This is the Go Boost Seamless Square Neck Sports Bra. So I got this in black, as you might have noticed, and this one is definitely a little bit different than what we've seen before. It's not as long. This is more of a sports bra than the other uh, things we saw. We do have that cute square neckline. It is seamless, so it feels quite tight in the beginning, but, you know, it does fit. There's a lot of stretch in it. It's double lined, but we do not have any removable cup pads, not like we did before now. And yeah, it's more of a long line thing, but not as long lined as the other things. I do like the square neckline. We have some ripped detailing. I know with black, it's always harder to see. We have that ripped band underneath that actually feels quite nice and soft. And then the back is kind of the highlight of this one. It's cute. It's like a little bit open. Um, we have the thick straps and then they become a little bit thinner here for the rest. So I think that's super cute. Um, I have a little bit of like some seeming seams that didn't, you know, don't look too perfect, but I still think it's cute. And um, there's also some ribbed detailing on these parts here that are going to sit like kind of like 
on the back of your um, I don't know, shoulders basically. But yeah, all in all, I thought this looked kind of cute. I'm a little bummed that it doesn't have removable cup hats. I do like my removable cup hats usually. Um, but I feel like since it's black and double lined and it's, you know, a nice thicker seamless fabric, not too thick by any means, but I think there's going to be a good amount of coverage at least and it's not going to be too obvious with the nippage because it's a darker color as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely do like the square neckline. I do like the back a lot. I'm kind of excited to see it on and see how it fits on me and I hope it's going to be comfortable and supportive. And yeah, let's do it. All right, onto the seamless sports bra. So no removal cuff hats in here or anything, but we have like this thicker double lined uh, seamless fabric. And we have like a low neckline, it's a little bit more square here. We have thick straps, a little bit of, uh, of side coverage here as well. And it's more of a long line sports bra for sure. You have this ribbed band underneath here. It's quite stretchy. And then there's some ribbed detailing here as well. But yeah, I mean, with black, it's harder to see nippage, but I think you could definitely still see it, especially when you get a lighter color of this one. But I also think the highlight of this sports bra is the back. Let me just show you. It's very, very cute, very open. Um, so yeah, I do like that. And I think this is why I actually wanted to try it because of the back, not the front. Because yeah, the front is a little basic. It's nothing bad, but it's also nothing like super special, but the back for sure is very very cute i will say when i tried it on i was like oh my god this feels tight but now that i have it on i'm you know i'm good there's a little bit of extra space for sure if you have bigger boobs support wise solid medium support for me um i also do think if you have bigger boobs you probably will get a little bit more cleavage than i do um so just keep that in mind but yeah otherwise i think it's very comfortable it's nice we have thicker straps here they're not cutting into my traps at all or anything so i could definitely see this as a bra that you can wear for the whole day and it would be like super comfortable. So yeah, it's cute. I mean, especially the back is cute, right? So. All right, last but not least, they had a lot of skirts or like active skirts. I don't know how you want to say it. And I kind of felt like I had to try one. And this one ended up to be like, like it ended up being super cheap for my card as well. So like 15 bucks, I think. This is the Go Energize Scorty. So it's the same type of fabric as the blue long line sports bra that we saw. So it's a bit more sleek. It's very, very stretchy. Um, I did get this as a size medium as well. And it's called, like this color is super cute. It's called turquoise, but I mean, turquoise is way more blue than this. Um, but this is kind of more of a greenish teal and it looks like quite cute. We have like a nice flowy skirt and then underneath we have some short shorts. I hope you can see them. Here we go. We have pockets on one side and yeah. So my problem with skirts or skirts usually is that they're a little bit too short in the back. We'll see if that's the same for these ones um, and for this one, I guess. And um, because yeah, I did get this in a size medium. And yeah, sometimes, I mean, if they're not trying to make them a little bit extra long in the back, it could be a little bit too short, which would be unfortunate because it's not expensive at the price that was in my cart. And it feels so nice. Like the fabric feels, the fabric feels like super nice and like flowy, also still has some structure to it. Feels like it could be nice and sweat wicking. Um, the shorts do have a front seam, as you can see here. But like generally, like I don't mind them unless they're actually really cutting in or anything. And then of course, in the back, we also do have a seam. The shorts seem very, very short. So I would say it's probably more of like a two inch inseam maximum. So of course, if the score T, as they call it, is a little bit short in the back as well, then I guess the shorts can't really save that, you know. Um, but yeah, let's just see it on. All right, onto the skirt. So I am not the biggest fan of skirts, especially, or like active skirts, whatever you want to call them, especially because when, when they're this short, you know? I do like the front usually of these because it looks cute. I'm just like, ooh, look at me. I'm wearing a skirt. It's flowy, it's cute. But then the back is just usually too short for me. And again, it's very, very short. You can kind of see the shorts in their short shorts. I'm definitely gonna ride up to expose my butt cheeks at some point. And since, you know, the skirt part isn't covering very much here in the back, you would probably definitely see some butt cheek as well. And yeah, I just wish they had added some extra length to the back, just like an inch maybe. 
because the front like this looks cute but then yeah my butt makes the skirt shorter in the back because it has to cover all the butt you know and I will say there's a ton of space in this waistband here as well so for sure a lot of space so if you don't have big thighs you can for sure size down because so much space um, but yeah, the shorts are what makes me not want to size down for sure. I mean, I don't think the cutting in is like painful or anything, but you can definitely see it. These shorts are also very, very short. Like these are not a four inch short or anything. They're like a two inch maybe. Um, of course we do have pockets. I was just going to say pockets not on this side. We have one pocket here on this side. So you can, I don't know, maybe put your phone in. Let's see. Yes, phone fits, but also like a ball if you're playing some ball sports. And yeah, but these are short shorts for sure, like booty shorts. Um, nothing wrong with booty shorts, just uh, if the skirt is not covering the booty shorts at all, <laughs> like in the back, it is a little too short. You know, I don't have a problem with like the shorts being shorter if the skirt covers everything and then just sometimes like it flaps up when you run or you're like, I don't know. But like this is a little short for me. So yeah, if unfortunately they don't have a longer length for this one. Usually when I order from Hollister dresses, when I do that, I do order the longer length. But yeah, for these things, I don't have that, I think. Um, and that would be nice because this is just a little bit too short. Like I wouldn't wear these shorts in public, you know? So if I, if I put the skirt on top, that's kind of shorter than the shorts in the bag. I still wouldn't wear this in public. And it's a shame because it looks so cute from the front. I think from the front it's like such a cute look. But the length in the back is just a no. But it's so cute. I also like the color. It's unfortunate. Maybe one day there'll be a skirt that'll be long enough for me in the back. We'll see. I'll wait. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, I did definitely like all the fun colors. I did like how the scorty looked from the front, but not the back too much. Um, I will say that while the pink leggings did fit well, I'm still not like 100% sold on it just because I do like my glute detailing, you know. It was a little bit too wide at the waist, um, but yeah, the orange leggings for sure were not, not that good, you know. <laughs> Like, they really had this cottony feel for some reason. And I just didn't like that at all. Um, for me, definitely the sports bras were way more convincing than the bottoms. Um, it's, it's just unfortunate that, like, when I tried to, like, you know, got, get some stuff that most of the times it wasn't my true size that was available. Um, so I think you always have to kind of be on the lookout, like, scout their website every, like, few days because they do have new things coming in. But usually also, like, their stock changes drastically, I think. And uh, yeah, since I don't have a store near me, I can't just go by the store and see what they have. I have to go with what is online, basically. Um, but yeah, all the colors were fun. I did like the combination of the blue and the pink the most, I think. Uh, that was really, really nice. And um, yeah, I don't know what my favorite would be. I did like the, the blue sports bra a lot. I wish I had it in a small, because yeah, the extra small fits, but there's cert certainly like a little bit of tightness, especially like in this area here in the back. Um, I think I could still get away with wearing it, so I might keep that one. I also definitely did like the black seamless bra. And yeah, I mean the skirt, skirty, sorry, it <laughs> looks so cute from the front. But yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But for sure, I would try Gilly Hicks activewear again. Um, especially because you can just order it when you order Hollister stuff. It's super easy. Over like a certain amount, you get free shipping. Returns are also easy. 
so it's never like too bad and um, they do seem to have some fun colors and um, the prices like I said sometimes you get like really nice deals like two leggings for this price or like that kind of stuff so you should just be on the lookout for those otherwise I'm not sure if I would pay the full price for all the items but for sure um, sometimes you get some nice sale prices and that's really price and that's really nice so yeah um anyway if you like this video give it your thumbs up and uh, also if you haven't yet you can subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos um and you can immediately watch them you know when they're coming out also if you have any feedback any suggestions for like new brands to try if you've tried gilly hicks before and you like them or you hated them or something if there's like a favorite gilly hicks item you have or something just let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below you can also DM me on Instagram. This is uh, my Instagram here, or my Instagrams. Um, but be aware of the fact that I will probably have a harder time replying to your DM or DMs because it's just like easier for me to see your YouTube comments here. So if you've sent me a DM and I haven't gotten back to you yet, just leave your comments down here and I'll get back to you within a few days. And it's just much easier. It's just um, I get be getting better over you view here, basically. Um, it is what it is. Yes. Anyway, I hope this wasn't too long for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!